What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent and we're back with another installment in the Academy series, StreamYard Academy. Man, I'm excited about this one. We're gonna actually dive into how can we optimize our stream when we have multiple guests, hosts plus multiple guests. Let's get into it. So I just wanna say this right at the outset. A couple of things that you're gonna need to do for your guests to make sure that you have what you need to be able to optimize your stream is you need to get some information from them, right? You gotta send them a, a form, um, collect some information from them in some way, shape, form, or fashion that allows you to actually know who this person is, their correct spelling of their name, the different questions that you wanna ask them, make sure that information is clear and that you have that information at your fingertips as you're planning your show. This is another form that I have. I just showed you the first one. And in this form, it, it, it's a Google form. Listen, I don't care how you get the information from your guests, you wanna get the information from them. You wanna minimize the amount of touches you have with that guest so that you have everything you need and you can provide them what they need. So what they need is an appointment. <laughs> uh, and here's one, uh, and you wanna make sure that you're on their calendar, that you are using an email address that they sent you so that you know this is one that they use regularly. Um, and you wanna be able to give them that level of value in their experience, right? But before you get to the design, you also wanna make sure you send them, you've given them the appointment, you wanna send them a run sheet. Okay, these are what I, what I have on the screen right now are a bunch of um, run sheets. I mean, the, I call them outlines, whatever. I don't care what the terminology is. You wanna make sure you give your guest something that not only tells them the flow of the show ahead of time, what to expect in terms of connecting in or anything else, but also, what questions you're gonna ask. You wanna make sure that they know what questions you're gonna ask. And again, this is not only good for them, this is good for you, because then you know how to design for it in your live stream. So we've looked at some of the you know non-technical items, the non-graphic, non-streamyard type items in terms of making sure your guests are comfortable and that you are comfortable to make sure your stream is optimized for multiple guests in StreamYard. But what I also want to show you is that you want to be able to design your for every scenario that may come up, right? And, and in order to do that, you you you're gonna have to do some designing yourself, or you may want to purchase a package. I've showed you at the beginning of this series how to design for one guest or for a host and for multiple guests. But what I also am going to show you right now are some of the packages that w myself and many others sell uh, for people out there to be able to set up their stream and be able to be prepared for multiple guests. So what we're looking at right now is the How It All Works stream package. And we've got a six face cam here. We have a share screen here. So you got the one box with the big one. You have five. You've got a we'll be right back. Live stream starting soon. Thank you for watching. We even have a countdown clock in this package. There's the four box, a two box, and a three box. So you any scenario that you could find yourself in, you will be prepared with this package. And as you design for yourself, or if you're gonna commission somebody to design something for you, you wanna make sure you're designing with this kind of thing in mind. This is actually a client package that I set up. Here is their stream package. Now for this particular client, they didn't have need for six, seven, eight. They only had need based on their run sheet, right? Based on what they got from their guests, based on their plan for the show, they were able to design and they needed three, they needed two, they needed one, and they needed four. So they needed those kinds of scenes. And of course, we still had the background there just in case something came up and we needed to do something else. We had these things here for that client. Here is yet another client um, that we have done a lot of work for. And in this one, you'll see actually some bumper videos. I'm gonna run one of them real quick. And so this video will play. As the, as the Benita, as Benita Jones is getting ready to come on screen, this video will play. And, and, and that will allow the, the client to be able to really manage this thing in a clean way and allow for a very clean experience for their audience. The, the key thing, if you haven't picked it up yet, is intentionality. Um, in being intentional in your design, being intentional in 
what your end user and viewer is going to see and what that experience is going to be like. Um, how are you gonna bring people on and off screen? Thinking through that whole process is how you optimize your stream for multiple guests. And having flyer, having an overlay, having uh, things that are designed, having bumper videos help to, sh to flow your show the way that you want it to. Um, let's head into StreamYard. So now we're here in StreamYard and I'm, I'm showing you some of the stuff that was from my conference. I've got two videos here on in, in the studio. I'm gonna put two of them on screen right now. And let's put up a two camera overlay. Boom, there it is. There, there's your two camera overlay. Or if you're gonna do a uh, full screen shot, then you wanna move to maybe this overlay or, or this overlay. And, and the point is really not so much to design it the way that I've designed it, but to have them ready in case you need to use them for your live stream. And, and if you want to shift between uh, scenes, you can use a flyer to do that, right? You, so we got a flyer up right now. And then while that flyer is up, I'm going to uh, change this to a two person stream and then put up the two person flyer and then it'll be ready to go. So there you have it. Um, we, we went through a lot in the, in the little bit of time there. I wanted to make sure you, you caught all of those pieces. You're able to kind of get a feel and, and look at how I optimize for multiple people in my stream. I'm hoping that you're tracking with us, hoping that you're getting value from this. And if you haven't already, we invite you to subscribe. Not only subscribe, but to hit the bell so you are notified when we have new content or when we go live. Somebody asked me today during the midweek huddle, how, how many times do you go live? We go live on Mondays for Convos and Collabs, on Wednesdays for the midweek huddle, and on Fridays for the virtual cafe. And every last one of them have a different purpose, a different vibe, a different format, but they're all packed with value and they're specifically made for you. I hope that you're going to join us tomorrow when we'll be talking about recording multiple audio tracks, recording multiple audio tracks with StreamYard. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere in the video today. We got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.